was 20 days ago when LSU finished off the sweep of Mississippi State in the final SEC series of the season at Duty Noble Field. At that time, the Tigers were rolling. The Bulldogs were reeling. Now MSU has gotten to the level of the overall seeded Tigers as anything can happen in a Super Regional starting on Saturday at the box. WCBI's Tom Ebel live in Baton Rouge with more on the Diamond Dogs. Tom? Thank you, Robbie. Good evening here from Alex Box Stadium. Mississippi State Bulldogs hit the practice field today, preparing for that super regional matchup against the LSU Tigers, a place where head coach Andy Canizero is awfully familiar after being former hitting coach here in LSU. So Mississippi State coming in yet again in the underdog role. Of course, uh, Andy Canizero tweeted something earlier today where Mississippi State was given a 17% chance of winning. 17%. You might recognize that from the 6% Mississippi State was given to get out of the Hattiesburg Regional after losing game one. It's an underdog role that the Bulldogs have embraced so far here in the postseason. They know at this point it only matters which team gets hot. Here's some of what Coach Canizero and some of the players are mentioning about embracing that underdog role. Our guys have um, embraced the role of the underdog this year. Um, and they don't give in, man. They don't quit. It's, it's really an awesome group to watch play every day. They absolutely get after it, and, and I'm proud as heck to be their head coach. It's been a lot of fun. And we've been in a lot of positions this year where people kind of doubted us, and I think that kind of speaks volumes to our team and speaks volumes to the kind of message that uh, you know coach likes to portray to us, and that's that no matter you know, how much we're down, no matter how often we're down, that we've always got a chance to battle back because we've got a lot of heart and got a lot of fight in our team. That's what kind of sets us apart and makes us special. It's a super regional. I mean, you win two, you go to Omaha. I mean, what's there not to live for right now? Um, you know, pressure's on both teams. You know, we've got to come in here with some confidence and get the job done. Connor Pilkington will be pitching game one tomorrow here at Alex Box Stadium against the LSU Tigers. And going back to that underdog role, a big part of that, uh, the, them winning so far being the underdog has been the makeshift pitching staff between you know all the injuries and so speaking of that makeshift pitching staff, Denver McQuarrie, Trey Jolly have been a big part of the relief and Denver also stepping up as a starting pitcher here toward the end of the season. I spoke with th both of them a little earlier today. We'll have more from Denver and Trey, two local guys coming up tonight at 10 o'clock right here on WCBI Sports. So if reporting live here right in front of Alex Box Stadium, Tom Ebel, Robbie, back to you in Columbus. All right, thanks, Tom. Yeah, Trey Jolly, North Pontotoc's own, Denver McQuarrie, Houston's own. There's some good area flavor on this MSU baseball team, and it all starts Saturday at 8 at LSU. You'll watch the game on ESPN. Sunday's game's either going to be on ESPN or ESPN2, so maybe have the the clicker ready. If you don't get it on one station, go to the other one. The Monday game still to be determined, so we'll find out if we end up having a game three or not. But again, as Tom mentioned, MSU currently has the uh, the second worst odds to advance to Omaha, right after Davidson. So we'll see what happens. And Davidson and A&M are in the 13th inning right now in Game One of their Super Regional. So it's getting weird and wacky. We'll have more with Tom coming up at 10. But that is it for sports. Last look at your forecast. WCBI sports coverage of the NCAA baseball tournament Baton Rouge Super Regional is brought to you by Visit Columbus, the city that has it all, and OCH Regional Medical Center, advanced medicine, compassionate care.